Magandang buhay. This is Teacher Hill. Ang video po natin sa oras na ito ay tungkol sa problem solving involving quadratic equation and rational algebraic equation. Our objectives. Recall solving quadratic equation using factoring method and quadratic formula. Solve problems involving quadratic equation and rational algebraic equation. Solve the given equation. 1 over x minus 4 plus x over 2 equals 1 half. Determine the LCD and multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. Our LCD in this equation is 2 times the quantity of x minus 4. Di ba napag-aralan na natin ang LCD dun sa last video po natin? Kaya hindi na natin ipapakita yung pagkuha ng LCD dito. So, LCD multiply the entire fraction. First, 1 over x minus 4 times the LCD. I-cancel ang common at i-multiply yung natira. Kaya sa first fraction natin, ikakancel natin ang x minus 4 at ang imumultiply natin ay 2 times 1. Kaya ang sagot ay 2. Sa second fraction natin na x over 2, ano ang common sa LCD? 2. At ang natira ay x times the quantity of x minus 4. At sa second fraction, ang common ng LCD sa denominator ay 2. Cancel ang 2 at i-multiply ang 1 times x minus 4. So, distribute. Bring down 2. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Bring down x minus 4. Okay? Use APE property. So, APE by negative x and negative uh, positive 4. So, we have 2 plus x squared minus 4x minus x plus 4 equals 0. Combine similar terms. Ano ang magka-similar? Negative 4x and negative x. So, that is negative 5x. 2 plus 4. So, that is 6. Bring down x squared. So, yung ating equation ay nakasulat na sa standard form. At itong equation na to mas madali kapag gagawin natin o pagsusod using factoring. So, the factor of x squared minus 5x plus 6 is, we have x minus 3 times x minus 2. Bakit? Ang factor ng 6 ay 3 and 2. At kinuha yung sum ng factor niya, 3 and 2, ang sagot ay 5. Zero product property, pag yan. So, we have x minus 3 equals 0 at sa kabila ay x minus 2 equals 0. Use APE property to solve x. So, we have x minus 3 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. Cancel ang negative 3 at positive 3. Natira sa left side ay x at sa right side 0 plus 3 is 3. Okay, sa pangalawa nating equation... We have x minus 2 plus 2 equals 0 plus 2. Cancel ang negative 2. Sa left side ay x at sa right side ay 2. So, the value of x in this given is 3 and 2. Okay? Same example, but I use the quadratic formula. Okay? So, the simplify na natin yan, na combine. So, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6. Yun yung nakuha natin kanina. Using quadratic formula, first is you have to determine the value of a, b, and c. Our a is 1, b is negative 5, c is 6. Our quadratic formula is negative b plus and minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Isa substitute natin yung value ng a, b, and c sa quadratic formula. b is negative 5, a is 1, and c is 6. After you substitute, simplify. 
Negative times negative sa dot is positive. The square of negative 5 is 25. Negative 4 times 1 times 6 is negative 24. At sa denominator, 2 times 1, that is 2. Okay. Isisimplify pa natin yung nasa loob ng radicals. 25 minus 24, that is 1. Copy ang 5, copy ang 2. Then, pinaghiwalay na natin. So, isang positive at isang negative. So, solve muna natin yung positive. So, 5 plus square root of 1 over 2. At yung sa kabila naman, x equals 5 minus square root of 1 over 2. So, solve. The square root of 1 is 1 plus 5 is 6 divided by 2. That is 3. Sa kabila namang value, the square root of 1 is 1, so that is 5 minus 1, that is 4, divided by 2, so the answer is 2. So, same solution, but different way to solve the given quadratic equation or rational equation. Okay, naintindihan na. So, let us now proceed to our main task. Our task is to solve the following problem. Number one, ito yata yung makikita natin sa lesson task 3, letter B. Okay, parallel na parallel to or parehas na parehas yung problem na to. Okay, kaya kung susundin natin to at pag-aaralan, makukuha natin yung task natin. Hindi naman natin sagutan na natin yung mismong task. Siyempre, kailangan yung gumawa naman ng part para pagdating sa school, Kayang-kaya na kayo. Handang-handa na kayo. Nasanay na sanay na kayo sa mat. Okay, example number one. A bus covers a distance of 80 km at a uniform speed. Had the speed been 20 km per hour, more it would have taken 20 minutes less for the journey. Find the original speed of the bus. Recall the formula of the distance. Distance equal rate times time or Time equals distance over rate. So, let x be the original speed. So, ang ginamit natin dito is yung time. So, we have 80 over x minus 80 over x plus 2 equals 1 third. Bakit 1 third to? Because of 20 minutes. Bakit 20 kilometer? Because yung plus 20 natin dito, yun yung ginamit natin. Using the uh, equation, we have 80 over x minus 80 over x plus 20 equals one-third. First, get the LCD of x times the quantity of x plus 20 and 3. So, the LCD of this denominator is 3x times the quantity of x plus 20. Multiply to the entire fraction. Okay. So, distribute natin yan. So, LCD times the first fraction which is 80 over, 80 over X. and po yung common nila? X. Kaya, ikakancel na lang natin yan. So, natira ay 3 times 80 times the quantity of X plus 20. Sa so, second fraction natin, ano po ang common? X plus 20. So, cancel po ang x plus 20. Ang natira ay 3x. etong 3x, multiply natin sa 80. And sa third fraction natin is 1 third. Ano ang common sa LCD? That is 3. Cancel ang 3. Ang natira po natin ay x times the quantity of x plus 20. Next, distribute. So, we have 3 times 80 is 240 times x. So, that is 240x. Next, 380 times 20, that is 4,800. Sa so second term natin, negative 3 times 80x, that is negative 240x. At dun sa right side ng equation, distribute uli. x times x is x squared. x times 20, that is 20x. Next step, combine. Ano po ang pwedeng combine dito? 240 and 240x 
and negative 240x. Cancel. Ano ang natira? 4,800 sa left side. Sa right side, copy lang po. We have x squared plus 20x. Use a PE and symmetric property. Symmetric, nag-interchange ng position pero hindi magbabago po ng sign. Kasi yung nasa right side nagpunta sa left at yung left side na mga uh, term nagpunta sa right side. Then yung 4,800 natin na nasa right side, nag-APE po tayo kaya siya naging negative 4,800. So, our equation, that is x squared plus 20x minus 4,800 equals 0. So, in this case, gagamit po uli ako ng solving quadratic equation by factoring. Bakit po? Kasi ang numerical coefficient ng a equals to 1. And yung 4,800, may factor na yan na ang sum ay 20x. At ano po yun? Ang factor ng x squared plus 20x minus 4,800 equals 0 is x plus 60 times x minus 80. 80 times 60, that is 4,800 minus ang sign. Magkaiba sila ng sign. Then, factor ng 80 at 60, kinuha natin ang sum. Ang sagot ay yung middle term ng ating trinomials, which is 20. So, ibig sabihin, tama po yung factor natin. Then, after that, use uh, zero property or paghiwalayin po natin. X plus 60 equals zero and the other one is X minus 80 equals zero. Use APE property to solve for X. So, we have X equals negative 60 because... The opposite of 60 is negative. Maka-cancel na po yan. Kaya natira yung x sa left side. At sa right side, 0 plus negative 60 is negative 60. Ganun din po sa right side. AP din, negative 80 plus 80. Cancel lang 80. Natira ay x sa left side. And 0 plus 80, the answer is 80. So we have x equals negative 60 or x equals 80. Hindi pa yan lahat yung solution. In distance, hindi pwede pong negative yung makukuha nating sagot. Kaya, yung negative x po yan, hindi siya sa kasali. Kaya, ang value po, or yung original speed po natin, ay 80 km per hour. Okay? That is the first example na parallel doon sa problem natin or sa task natin sa module. Number two. If the difference between a number and its reciprocal is 63 over 8, find the number. Let x be the number. Okay? Then, our equation, difference, tandaan, that is minus reciprocal, kaya yung number natin x, reciprocal nun, so that is 1 over x. So, our equation will be x minus 1 over x equals 63 over 8. LCD, napakadali lang niya. Kitang-kita na po. Ang LCD natin ay 8x. Multiply this LCD to the entire fraction. Distribute. 8x times x. So that is 8x squared. Second fraction. 8x times negative 1 over x. Ang common ay x. Cancel and 8 times negative 1. That is negative 8. And the third fraction, do we have 63 over 8 times 8x, common ay 8, ang natira ay x times 63, so that is 63x. So we have 8x squared minus 8 equals 63, hindi na kay standard form. So use AP property. So we have 8x squared, positive 63, so that is negative 63x minus 8 equals 0 na kay standard form. Ano po yung napansin nyo? Ang A is greater than 1. So, ibig sabihin, kapag greater than 1, uh, maraming trial and error natin sa pagpapaktor. Kaya, I suggest, you use the quadratic formula in this solving quadratic equation. So, find the value of A, B, and C. A is 8, B is negative 63, and C is negative 8. Using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus and minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. 
isa substitute po natin. B is negative 63. A is 8. C is negative 8. Okay? So, simplify. Negative, negative. So, that be becomes positive. Then, negative 63 squared minus 4 times 8 times negative 8 all over 2 times 8. Okay? Simplify po uli natin. 63 plus and minus the squared of negative 63 is 3,969. And negative 4 times 8 times negative 8, that is positive 256. At sa denominator natin, 2 times 8, that is 16. Combine yung nasa loob ng radicals. 3,969 plus 256 is 4,225. Copy ang 63, copy ang 16. Simplify. Okay? The square root of 4,225 is 65. Plus and minus po yan. Copy ang 63 and 16. Paghiwalayin po natin. So, solve muna po yung positive. Okay? Uh, negative po pala. 63 minus 65 over 16. That is negative 2 over 16 and the lowest term of negative 2 over 16 is negative 1 over 8 kasi kailangan po talaga naka lowest term ang pagsusolve natin sa x okay next so positive naman po we have x equals 63 plus 65 that is 128 divided by 16 our x equals 8 so our value of x is 8. So, the number is 8. Okay? Next example. Okay, uh, the width of a bedroom floor is 4 meters less than its length. And its area is 32 meters square. Find its dimension. So, last time, kung natatandaan nyo, yung mga task natin, nag-translate tayo ng verbal into mathematical. So, Sa inyo, easy-easy na lang to sa pagta-translate. Okay. So, our x is the length and x minus 4 is our width because in this case, the width of a bedroom is 4 meter less than its length. Kaya, ito po yung ating representation. So, again, x is the length and x minus 4 is our width. Substitute to our formula of the area na ang area natin ay 32 meter square. So, we have length that is x and width is x minus 4 equals 32. Distribute. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x equals 32. Use APE property. We have x squared minus 4x minus 32 equals 0. Okay? So, in this case, naka-standard form na. In, the value of A is 1 and 32 is, pac, is factorable that will be equal to our middle term. So, the factor of x squared minus 4x minus 32 equals 0 is x plus 4 times x minus 8 equals 0. So, check. 4 times negative 8, negative 32. Sum ng 8 and negative 4. Okay, sum ng 4 and negative 8, that is negative 4. So, check yung factor natin. Use zero product property. So, paghiwalayin natin ang factor ng x plus 4 at x minus 8. So, x plus 4 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0. Yung iba nilalagyan ng guhit dito. Okay, parehas lang din po yan, ha? Okay, solve APE. So, AP, we have x plus 4 minus 4 equals 0. And this one, x minus 8 plus 8 equals 0. Ano na yung magiging value ng x? x equals negative 4. At yung isa, x equals 8. In this case, yung negative x na po natin yan. Kakanselin na natin. Kasi hindi pwede na may negative kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang measurement sa sukat regarding dito sa dimension. Okay? So, the dimension 
of our given length is 8 and our width which is have a representation of x minus 4 x equals 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 so that is 4 so the dimension is 8 by 4 so nakuha na natin yan masasagutan na uli natin yung ating task sa module number 3 Ito na yung task 4. So, uh, may kaiba lang to Kaya lang mas tricky lang ng konti to A picture frame has its length 6 cm longer than its width. It has an inner 1 cm boundary. Okay, ayan po ah. Inner 1 cm boundary such that a maximum 520 cm square picture may fit into it. Find the dimension find the dimension of this frame. So, let W or the width is X and our length is X plus 6. But in this case, meron daw tayong 1 cm inner boundary. Kaya madadagdagan tong representation ng equation. Ayan na po. Ang width natin becomes x minus 2 and length is x plus 6 minus 2. Bakit naging minus 2? Ito po yung representation. Ito po yung ating frame. Mayroon daw 1 cm na boundary sa length. Kaya makikita mo yan um, dalawa. Isa sa taas at isa sa baba. And yung width po natin, ito po. Okay, isa, dalawa. Kaya minus 2. Kaya ito na po yung mga, ito yung magiging pit na natin yan. Okay, so it becomes x minus 2. And yung length po natin is x plus 6 minus 2. Okay po? So nagets po, hindi po minus 1, hindi po x minus 1. x minus 2 po. So, substitute to the formula of area which is length times width. And length po natin is x plus 6 minus 2, that is x plus 4, and yung width natin is x minus 2, equals 520. Multiply, we have x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 520. Next, use APE property. We have x squared plus 2x minus 8 minus 520. Change the sign po, yung APE property ng 520. Opposite nito is negative 520. <coughs> combine. Ano po yung i-combine? Negative 8 and negative 520. So, we have x squared plus 2x minus 528 equals 0. So, you can use solving by factoring or quadratic formula. But in this case, ginamit ko po uli yung factoring. Factor, uh, factor ng 528 na ang sum ay 2x, so that is 24 and 2. So, the factor of x squared plus 2x minus 528 equals 0 is x plus 24 times x minus 22. Use zero product property. That is x plus 20 equals zero or x minus 20 equals zero. Use APE to solve for x. x equals negative 24 at sa right side x minus 22 plus 22 equals zero plus 22. That is x equals 22. Isang negative, isang positive. Ano po ang gagawin kapag dimension? i x na natin ang negative. At ang natira ay 22. Okay? Ano yung 22 yan? So, that will be our width. And our length is 22 plus 6. That is 28. So, the dimension of our picture frame is 28 by 22.
Okay? So, sana nakuha po natin yan. Next. So, another example. After how many seconds is needed for a thrown a ball to reach a 20 meter distance? If its distance is given by the relation D equals 10 plus 40T minus 5T squared. Let D equals 20 meter and T is our time in second. Substitute D by 20 equals 10 plus 40T minus 5T squared. Transpose or APE property yung sa right side. So we have 5T squared minus 40T minus 10 plus 20 equals 0. Combine itong negative 10 and 20. We have 5T squared minus 40T plus 10 equals 0. So, pwede yung divide by 5. Pwede rin na rin hindi. So, I divide by 5. So, we have 10, 5T, 2 divided by 5. That is T square. 40T divided by 5. That is 8T. And 10 divided by 5 is 2 equals 0. So, in this case, hindi ito pwedeng i-factor. Kasi wala namang factor ang 2 na ang sum ay negative 8. Kaya ang gagamitin natin ay quadratic formula. So, identify the value of A, B, and C. A is 1, B is negative 8, and C equals 2. Using the quadratic formula, which is negative B plus and minus square root of B square minus 4AC all over 2A. So, B is negative 8, A is 1, C is 2. Simplify. Negative, negative becomes positive. Negative 8 or the square of negative 8 is 6 to 4. Negative 4 times 1 times 2, that is negative 8. And sa denominator, 2 times 1, that is 2. Simplify pa rin natin yung sa loob ng radicals. So, 6 to 4 minus 8, that is 56. X equals 8 plus and minus square root of 56 all over 2. And the square root of 56 is that is 7.5. So, approximate po natin yan. Niround off po natin yan. For sa higher mathematics, ang ginagawa, pinapactor po natin to. Okay? So, use zero product property or paghiwalayin po natin yung isang positive at negative. So, x equals 8 plus 7.5, that is 15.5 divided by 2, that is 7.75. Sa minus naman, 8 minus 7.5, that is 0.5 or 0 0.5 divided by 2, t equals 0 0.25. So, dalawa. Kaya lang i-check natin. So, our t is 7.75 and another t is 0 0.25. So, substitute naman muna yung t as 0 0.25. Negative 5 times the quantity of 0 0.25 square plus 40 times 0 0.25 plus 10 equals 20 is 19.680. To 20 or equal sa 20 po yung ating magiging value. Sa kabila, kung t naman ay 7.75, substitute negative 5 times the quantity of 7.75 quantity square plus 40 times 7.75 plus 10 equals 20. So, our answer is 19.688 equals 20 or approximation po to kasi nira-round up po natin. So, 19.688. .6, 19 so, this is the diagram. So, pipili po tayo ng ating magiging sagot 
kung ano po yung mass right. So, 0.25 seconds is all about 0.25 seconds. Bakit po? Yun yung ating pinili. Because in our problem, after how many seconds is needed for a throne, a ball to reach a 20 meter distance. Okay? So, 0.20. Yung una po na pagtaas, yun po yung kukunin natin na distance. Ano yung time natin, which is 0.25. 25 seconds. Although pareha sila ng value, but in our problem, ang tinatanong po yung how many seconds is needed for a throwable ball to reach a 20 meter distance. So, yung una po, yung una nating pagagit, yun po yung una nating makukuha na na-reach yung 20 meter, which is 0 0.25 seconds. Okay? Sana naintindihan niyo po yung ating uh, lesson for today at sana masagutan po natin yung ating task na nasa module po natin. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless.